Hello everybody and indeed Chicago Tony V here. I hope you brought your appetite. Today I'm making one of my favorite little dishes for when I'm not super super hungry but I'm still hungry and also when I'm trying to be a little bit healthy. I'm going to show you my secret recipe for cabbage wraps. Let's get it on! Okay the first part in this recipe is actually to make the sauce that's going to go around the uh, cabbage. It's, it's going to make it all nice and flavorful. Okay, so in no particular order, first I'm using mayonnaise. Yes, I still have a little bit of organic left and I promise once I'm through this, I'm switching to regular. All right, times are tough. What can I say? As usual, I don't measure a thing. <laughs> and I'm having trouble squeezing this out. Okay, there we go. I'm putting, you know, some mayo in there. Now, nah, maybe I'll put a little more. I'm feeling festive. A little bit more. Okay, that's enough mayonnaise. The next ingredient is ketchup. You can use any sort, any, any old ketchup you like. I'm going to give this a good shake. I can see it's watery. And I'm going to squirt some ketchup in there. Okay, it's about roughly equal parts ketchup to mayonnaise. See it in there? Okay, so far so good. I'm going to put, of course, some Mrs. Dash garlic and herb. It's just my favorite. I'm going to sprinkle some of this in here. I've missed you guys. It's been a, whoa, that one, that came out real heavy. doesn't matter. It's going to be delish. Um, I've missed you guys. It's been a while since I've made a video. I'm super excited. Okay, now is my first flavor enhancer, okay, of this dish. Check it out. I used this on my, uh, on my pierogi video. All right, Mike's Hot Honey. Mike's Hot Honey, this is just a little secret. You don't have to use this. The base for this dressing for the cabbage is just the, the ketchup and mayo. Other than that, you can do what you want. Put whatever spices, whatever little additions. Okay, so to recap, we have ketchup, we have mayo, we have Mrs. Dash Garlic and Herb Blend, and I have Mike's Hot Honey. And that is all she wrote. That's all I need. I'm going to mix it up. And since I forgot a spoon, I'm going to use whatever these things are called, tongs. What you do is you mix it up, get it all mixed together. All right, see how that's mixing pretty nicely? It, it, it looks like Thousand Island dressing. As a matter of fact, is this the Recipe for Thousand Island dressing? It might be. I don't know. I'm not uh, schooled in the ways of the culinary. Okay, and now I'm going to set this aside. Okay. Now, these are cabbage rolls, so by, by golly, we're going to need some cabbage, aren't we? That's the way it goes. Of course we're going to need some cabbage. All right. This isn't uh, the knife I normally use. That doesn't matter. If you've got knife skills, you've got knife skills, all right? If you've got it, you've got it. That's how it goes. All right, so I like to shred my cabbage pretty thin. Pretty, pretty thin, just because it makes it uh, easier to mix, mix around in the bowl. I'm going to try not to blow your eardrums out with slapping against this cutting board. How about that? How about that for a concept? To go through this cabbage. We have to try not to cut off our fingers, okay? That's an important goal. Set the knife aside. And now the cabbage goes in our bowl. It just goes right over the top of that dressing we made. 
super simple. Simple dimple. All right, we're gonna set our, our uh, bowl aside. We're gonna make a mess off camera so you can't see it. It's like it never happened. What's next? Okay, next we need some onion. You can use whatever kind of onion you want. I like yellow onions. And, you know, you can just use whatever. Use a bit, use a lot. I had, uh, I'm trying to remember. I believe that I had onions in a, in a dish this morning. So I'm not gonna go super crazy on the onions because I'm just gonna try to give mankind a break. All right? You'll notice too, I, this is gonna be the first, my first dish that uh, will not involve putting garlic in the dish. That's actually monumental because I love garlic. I love it. And by now you you should have figured out that I have no knife skills. I'm completely untrained, which I hope is what is partially fun about this channel, okay? You don't have to you don't have to know what you're doing, all right? You just have to be a little adventurous, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Let's see if we can get this in the bowl. Okay, so we, I've put some onion now in the bowl. All right. Next, this is very important. This is gonna make it really delightful. And I can't find it. I'll be right back. We have apple. Apple is super important. I'm not going to put a ton in here, just a little bit. This is going to give our dish that little extra zing. Uh, what kind of apple is this, you ask? I don't really know. I bought it just this morning, but I can't remember what kind it is. I remember that it was on sale. And at the time I purchased it, it felt like that was the most important part, part of the decision. Today I saw, I'm, I'm, not, I'm telling you, I saw a carton of eggs for over $8 today. A carton of eggs. Now they were hippy dippy, you know, super special eggs, etc., etc. But I mean, come on. It's crazy. It's getting kind of crazy out there. Anyway, I digress. Okay, now we have we have our cabbage, we have our onion, we have apples, and this of course is the bowl that has our dressing down below. We have our Mrs. Dash spices, and now we just mix it up. That's what we do. We're gonna try and coat all that cabbage with our makeshift dressing. Again, is it Thousand Island? I don't know, it might be exactly Thousand Island. Boy, will I look silly if it's literally just Thousand Island dressing that I just made. I don't care. It's delicious. Well, Thousand Island doesn't have Mike's Hot Honey in it, does it? I doubt it. So we're getting pretty well coated. We're getting there. I want to work it some more. Let's see, as I'm recording this, it is Tuesday, Tuesday evening. I hope you're off to a good start of the week. Enjoying yourself. This is going to be a nice, crunchy little treat. Okay. It is mixed up. It is nicely coated. I'm pretty happy with that. And now it's simply time to put this on a uh, tortilla. That's all we got to do. I happen to have a tortilla ready as we speak. You know, just I'm uh, it's like a professional cooking show. I'm ready. I'm Johnny on the spot. My camera guy, Lucenzo, he couldn't uh, do the shoot with me today. So I'm completely flying solo. 
proud of myself if I pull this off. All right, I have placed the hooch. I have placed the magical mixture on the tortilla. And now it's just time to simply wrap it up and enjoy. This is how I like to fold my tortillas. If your tortillas are kind of like a little bit dry or something, you can uh, heat these up on a griddle. Uh, put, a, put a griddle on medium heat, throw your tortilla on there for, you know, 10 minutes. Sorry, 10 seconds, not 10 minutes. Don't do 10 minutes. Uh, 10 seconds, it's going to be nice and pliable and loosey-goosey. That's it. That's it. Isn't that nice? I don't have a salad with me today because, by golly, the salad's in the, uh, it's in the tortilla. This whole meal is kind of salad, if you think about it. Now, we're going to offset the healthiness with an end-of-meal enhancer in a little bit. But, let's keep it classy and actually use a plate now. We're ready to taste our concoction. This is super exciting. Let's see what we've got here. Here we go. Really good. I say, I feel like I say this so many times during my dishes. This has a tang, a zip to it. It has just, it's just something very, very delightful. And uh, it has a lot of flavor. I like the crunch too. I like the crunch. Let's take another bite. Mm-hmm. It's so good. That Mike's Hot Honey uh, gives it a little, a little heat, which I like. You might be a heat person, you might not be a heat person. No big deal, try it both ways. Another thing you can do is, uh, I could have added some cheese, like a four cheese blend, that sort of thing. You know, maybe I'll make another burrito after I turn these cameras off and I'll have one that way. I probably will. I probably will. So have fun with it. Speaking of having fun, I have, I have another one of these cards, like trivia some sort of trivia. Let's go through it. Let's see how we do. I think last time I recovered and I got, I, I ended up four out of six. Not bad at all. By the way, if this is the first of my videos that you've seen, the first part of my video, I show you how to make something, make a dish, which I've now completed. The second part of the video, we hang out, we have fun. We just chat a little bit. Maybe you eat your lunch while you're watching me eat my lunch, right? Okay, first question. What California citizen got 100 phone calls blaming him for 1998's unseasonable weather? What California citizen got 100 phone calls blaming him for 1998's unseasonable weather? Merlin, who is the weatherman on the Today Show? Merlin Olson? No, he was a football guy. Who's the guy that used to be Ronald McDonald? And then became a weatherman? Maybe it's that guy. Anyway, I don't know. Or maybe it's the Al Roker. I'm going with Al Roker. That's my final answer, Al Roker. Next question, what video game series saw its Ocarina of Time installments earn more revenue than any movie during the 1998 holiday season. Ocarina of Time, what video game series? I'll say Tomb Raider. I don't know. 
Next question, what director crowned himself king of the world at the 1998 Oscar ceremony? It's got to be the, the guy from that boat, Titanic. Now, who's the director? He makes those movies about those the, the sexy-looking Smurfs, too. <sighs> Cameron. Cameron. By the way, I was talking, I was just talking about that guy and this director on my show this morning, which is a good reminder. Uh, this video is sponsored by the Chicago Tony B Show. I do a daily live stream, believe it or not. I do it on Twitch. Please come over and say hi. Uh, I do it Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. If you like these videos and you want to interact a little bit with me, please, by all means, come by and say hi. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Chicago Tony B. All right, next question. What company sent a 15-story balloon on a world tour to celebrate the 100th anniversary of its tireless mascot, Bib? Tireless mascot, Bib? A mascot named Bib. Is it Michelin? Is that the Michelin, uh, the, the, or is it Stay Puff? Hold on, hold on. 100th anniversary of its tireless mascot. Tireless? It's either the Michelin Man or it's Stay Puff Marshmallows. I gotta pick one, I'm going Stay Puff. Next, what museum overlooking Los Angeles took 13 years and $1 billion to complete? What museum overlooking Los Angeles? I have no idea. Museum of Modern Art, I don't know. What songstress received the Order of Quebec on April 30th, 1998, and the Order of Canada a day later. Is it that, uh... Right. Yeah, she's that singer. She's in Vegas now. She got sick recently. Gosh darn it. I can't remember. It. I'm doing horrible today, I feel. Celine Dion. Jeez. Okay. What California citizen got 100 phone calls blaming him for 1998's unseasonable weather? Al Nino. Oh my God. Al Nino? Al Nino. Okay, 0 for 1. What video game series saw its Okinara of Ocarina of Time installment earn more revenue than any movie during the 1998 holiday season? Legend of Zelda, 0 for 2, just like last time. What director crowned himself king of the world? James Cameron, one for three, just like last time. What company sent a 15-story balloon on a world tour to celebrate its hundreds? Michelin. I said stay puffed, didn't I? Gosh darn it. I'm one for four. This is horrible. What museum overlooking Los Angeles took 13 years and one billion to complete? No idea. The Getty Center. I'm one for five. I'm... I'm hopeless. What songstress received the Order of Quebec? Celine Dion. Two for six. Horrible. Under under 500, but that's okay. That's okay. I still feel good about myself because I've showed you how to make a delicious cabbage wrap. Try it for yourself. You'll like it. And boy, do I have a surprise for you now. Because now we are to the end of of meal enhancement portion of the video and you're not going to believe it. Check it out. Look what we have. We have Betty Crocker dessert decorations. These things are delicious. I was at the grocery store. I saw these. I couldn't pass these up. No way. I saw these in the aisle and I, I knew right away. All the uh, these are going on the show. Now it's been a while since I've had these. Been a long time actually. And uh, I guess I have a knife here next to me, don't I? These are great.
These are so delicious. I can't wait. All right, excuse me while I take these off the thing. Now I'll warn you, I um, am a little bit OCD. I used to get these a while back when I was in college, okay? And what I discovered over time is I had a real problem deciding which letter to eat first. This is a real problem. You would think a fellow like me, I would just be a savage, right? And just eat which, just, just start eating letters. Well, I found that I couldn't do it. I would second guess myself. I'd try one letter, then the next letter. So I came up with a way to determine what letter gets eaten first. A way to overcome my, my uh, cake decoration letter OCD. I'll show you. Give me a second while I get all these unpeeled. And we're back. Okay, I have all those letters unpeeled. And uh, so here, <laughs> this is silly. As I said, I have kind of letter OCD. I never know. I never know which one to eat first. So here's the rule I came up with. I just uh, sprinkle that. I just I just throw them up in the air, let them land, and then the closest one to me is the one I eat first. I get over my OCD. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see. Well, which one is? Hmm. Those are almost equal. I guess I will eat the T. That's probably the closest one. Man, these things haven't changed in years and years and years and years. That's kind of fun. It's uh, the sort of thing that's surely going to get me sugar diabetes, right? Anyway. Ooh, here's an R. Very nice. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Um, uh, you know, let me know if you try to make cabbage wraps, and I hope you enjoy them. Good luck with everything. I will see you on the next video, and come over and say hi on Twitch, okay? And I like you. I like you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.